The locomotive getting ready to face off against one of its fiercest rivals this weekend, and they need your support, including me. I've got it right here, our own El Paso locomotive flag, and this is the flag that's going to be given to all the fans. We have Good Morning El Paso's Brianna Chavez joining us live from Southwest University Park with a preview of Saturday's home game. And Bri, you can't see me, but I'm waving your flag that I stole off your desk. Good morning. You know, you're lucky that I left the flag there because I was supposed to bring it with me this morning and aye, I aye, forgot, aye. but that's actually the the flag that fans are going to be getting this Saturday. The first 3,000 that head out here, the gates open at 430. It's going to be an exciting matchup, Mauricio, as you just mentioned, a huge rivalry ahead of the locomotive. Joining me now to tell us all about this game is Derek uh, Andrew Forrest. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Oh, thanks for having me. So let's talk about this exciting new era for the team. We've got a lot of familiar faces, but a lot of new faces as well, including Coach Hutchinson. Yeah, so this is Coach Hutchinson's uh, first season. We're really excited with the style of play that, that he's bringing. Uh, it was on display against Sacramento, not the result we wanted, but if you look at the process, I think the, the, the possession that we had, the chances that we created, um, and, and if we clean up some of the silly mistakes that we made in the back, um, you know, that game has a different result, and we're looking forward to see that on full display here. Um, and, and as you mentioned, a lot of new players. We actually have four players being called up to the national, various national teams um, for this, this World Cup qualifying period. So um, I think this is the best team that we've had through the four years, and I think that's the way it needs to be. We always need to get better. Um, so we've made some key additions. Uh, with um, uh, Harry Brockbank, who's from uh, Bolton, which is the highest, plays in the third division in England, which is the highest level we've ever had. Um, and we really expect big things out of him. So, so we're excited with some of the additions that we've got in town. Yeah, and it's going to be a really exciting atmosphere for the fans. Really quick, tell us about um, what fans can, can see when they head out here. Yeah, there's a lot of great things going on. Uh, we've got some new food uh, options, some, some back to some basics. We've got some uh, things that people have been, been missing the last couple of years that are coming back. We've got some soft serve ice cream that's new. That's going to be fun um, and some some remodels to some of the different carts. So I think there's a lot of uh, good food options coming. Um, and the other thing that's that's really major in the offseason is the LED lights that we've got. Um, so when we score goals, the lights will be able to flash and dance. We'll be able to have light shows. We've got different colors lights. So you'll see blue and yellow, I hope, uh, a lot on Saturday night. So some fun things for the fans to interact with when they come to the stadium. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. There's also going to be a fireworks show if you plan on heading out this Saturday. Tickets are going fast. We do have a link over over at kvia.com. Reporting live from Southwest University Park, Brianna Chavez. Good morning, El Paso.